Welcome back, everybody, to another game on the Nova Scotia U16 AAA Hockey League Provincials. Day two, game number four of five today, as we have the Valley Wildcats and the Fundy Thunder. The Thunder are making some waves here in Sackville as they're shocking some teams here. They beat the Armada earlier today, as well as a thriller in overtime over the Kings on day one. Thorn and net for the th Thunder, and we have LeCouder for the Wildcats. Just about set to get underway here. Lots of hockey action today, Saturday. We have the game four of the Max and Subarus as well on the high button channel. Eisenhower starts things off for the Wildcats in neutral zone. He dips his way through. Eisenhower gets the puck. T-Band is an early hit on from thun the Thunder there. Bodies are flying early on. Bokolas keeps it in for the Thunder. Or the Wildcats, excuse me. Sam's the blue line. Here's Sam's makes a move. Sam's another move. Just about keeps it in. Dumps it deep. Looking for Eisenhower. He finds him behind the net. Bobbles over to his stick. Puck is in front. Whacking away at it. Scrum in the corner here as Eisenhower comes out with it. Eisenhower behind the net and disrupted. Another scrum here. Puck finds away to McDonald. Over to George. George on the right side. He hesitates, trying to find a man in the neutral zone. Gets shouts at Eisenhower with the interception. Here's Eisenhower in the slice, shoots, and just blocked. Some early chances here for the Wildcats. As Bokola throws a shot on net, and it makes its way through, and goaltender Thorne has trouble with it there. Here's Sams with the puck again. Sams with the slice, shoots, just wide. Bokolas keeps it in on the blue line. Here's Bokolas looking for a shot, and he gets one. Another save from Thorne. That's three early on here to start the game. Eisenhower with another shot. Another, another save. Puck is loose, and they score. Another goal for the Wildcats. I believe it was Eisenhower who tucked that one home. We'll see here. It is an early 1-0 lead for, the, for Valley. It's Kerrigan, excuse me. After four great chances to start the game, they finally convert off the, off the chance there in front with the rebound. And we have ourselves a 1-0 hockey game here early. A great start for the Valley Wildcats as the, they line up for center ice here. Wood against Ledson. Hunt in his own zone now, looking for his partner pass to Paris. He finds McClellan, the captain, on the boards. Intercepted in the, in the neutral zone by Ledson. He has trouble with it. Now Bain. Bain makes his way through. Gets, gets taken the puck away from Wood. Wood looking for Singer on the stretch pass, but that's taken down by Stoddard, who dumps it back in. George now with the puck in the corner. Bain on him. Scrum ensues. Wood looking for it now off the on the stick of Hunt. Hunt makes a chip off the board. Hunt goes after it. There's a there's the goal call right there. As Bain takes it in his own zone. Turns it over to Countway. Countway off the ice. So Singer, Singer has a chance in the left side here. Singer, he shoots. And off the glove of Lacuda, he had a trouble with it there. He had to bat it away. Rebound is loose on net. Just misses. Here's Singer now on the left side. Singer, lots of goals for Singer this tournament. Having a great end of his career here. On the left side is Vanderberg. He shoots it on net just wide. There's George looking to the finch. He misses that one. Singer down to retrieve the puck on the back check. Singer takes off the boards to Wood. Wood over to Harrison in the neutral zone. Just hops over his stick. McDonald recovers for the Wildcats. McDonald off the boards to Christensen. Disrupted by Singer who dumps it in. Christensen disrupts that. Harrison on the blue line for check. And here's McDonald now for the Wildcats in the neutral zone. McDonald with the head of steam. McDonald shoots on net and it's just wide. Puck on the boards there. Up to the middle for Harrison. Harrison's the neutral zone, coming to the right side. He dumps it in into McDonald's corner. Kerrigan is deep partner. He goes after it. O'Neill on him. Harrison tries to get it to Christensen on the boards, but doesn't quite make it to him. Here. Sam's now with the puck. Now to Christensen on the, on the wall. Christensen finds Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, the feisty winger here, number seven. He makes his way to down. Leaves it for Sam. Sam's with a chance here on net, but gets blocked. Great play there by, the, by Countway. Countway behind his own net now, surveys the ice. Here's Countway with the puck. Countway still with it. To the neutral zone now, Countway makes a couple moves. Countway on the left side. Countway looking for an option here, holds on to it. Throws it on net, it's directed away by the Cooter, McDonald. Up to Dild on the wall there. Disrupted by McDonald. And O'Neill the shot in the slot, great chance there. 
off the turnover. And it misses the net and it bounces up back to LeCouter who covers it up. 11-15 left here in the first period. 1-0 for the Wildcats off an early goal. Shots on goal 4-3 for Valley. Face off in the defensive zone. McDonald on it, the draw. He wins over down to Paris. Paris partner, tries to get partner pass. Puck ends up in the corner. Battle ensues. Over to Dill on the wall. Dill having a tr little trouble with it. It gets turned over from McDonald. Puck ends out outside. Here's Diggins now. Diggins chips it through. Paris now in his own zone behind the net. Paris off the wall. And that's pinching in the Valley Wildcats forward. Here's Dill now with a chance. Dill shoots and it's blocked. Great chance there. As Bokolovs keeps the puck in, ends up outside. Chipping it in his rut. It's disrupted by McDonald. McDonald in his own zone looking for an option here as he makes a couple moves. Now gets it to Paris. Paris takes a look up ice looking for an option. Here's Duaron. Intercepted by Bokolovs who chips it back in. Paris with the puck again, making his way through. Paris still with it on the left side. Here's Paris. Paris looking for a shot. And he gets one off and Lacuda with the save there. Rebound. And it just grazes wide off of the off of the defender of the Wildcats, but just stays out. A funny bounce there as the Wildcats recover. And looking for Eisenhower. He hits the lane here. He's Eisenhower looking the back and he shoots in just up high. Great chance there. It was open if he hit it. Now Gwen. Throws it in there for the, the Cats. Chance here, a back door almost. Chance there is Bokolos. Now the captain throws a backhander on. Doesn't quite make it through to the net. Eisenhower on the forecheck. George trying to get it out now, and he will. As if only had numbers coming the other way. Here's Dwar on. Dwar on the left side. He tries to make a move, and can't find a stick of George coming in on the right side with him. George now taken away from the Wildcats. Looking up ice here. That is Graham who dumps it in. Goes all the way around. Up, intercepted by Stoddard. Stoddard with a chance here in the slot. Stoddard likes to pass. Hits a couple skates. Now McDonald the shot. Thorne did not see that. It surprised him as it came through. And we have a whistle here as the net is off. Great action here to start. Early lead for the Valley Wildcats. The face off will be to the left of Thorne. Plenty of great action here in Sackville for the Nova Scotia U16 Triple A Hockey League Provincials here. So lots to be decided for the, the, the final tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Fundy off to a great start to this tournament. Valley is one and two. Puck makes its way. McDonald keeps it in for the Wildcats. Singer tried to get three there. Couldn't quite get the puck. Neutral zone puck now. Started off his skate up to Bain. That's taken away from by the Thunder. Here's Wood now. Wood chips it up to Singer. Will Singer having a great tournament, as I mentioned. A hat trick yesterday against the Kings. Here's Singer now who takes the puck from McDonald. Singer behind their own net. Singer with the puck still. Singer looking for an option. Still has it. Here's Singer. Tries to get a shot off. Gets it right back and shoots in the great save from LeCouter there in the slot. Off a shot from Singer. Looking oh so dangerous early on for the Thunder. As he has been all season long. Here's Phillips now trying to go end to end. Phillips. Still with on the right side. Phillips looking for an option. Trying to find his man Ledson on the other side, but is intercepted. Ledson gets the puck back. Sucking his feet. Taken away by McClellan. Ledson gets it back in the neutral zone. Ledson gets it taken away. It's Christensen now with the puck. He finds Stoddard just out of his reach. Fundy recovers now as the defenseman follows over there trying to make the partner pass. Singer on the blue line. Gets taken away from him now. Fitzgerald with the puck. Here's Fitzgerald with the valve. He'll dump it in. Thorne out to play it. He'll leave it for his defenseman Hunt. Hunt with it now behind his own zone. Own net. Makes the partner pass over. Looking up the ice for McClellan. Gets intercepted. Here's Fitzgerald on the forecheck. Gets taken down. That'll be our first power play of the game as Fitzgerald was taken down there on the forecheck after he caused a turnover. And Valley will go to the man advantage here. Shots on goal, six to five for the Thunder as they are down one to nothing here, but Valley. Here's Sam's now with the puck up to Bokolos. 
Bokalov's on the blue line. Up back to Sam. Sam has a shot here, looking for the deflection. Can't get a stick there now. Ledson gets hit there. Great big hit, and Thorne covers up off the chance from Bain in front. Top unit out for the Valley Wildcats here on this first power play of the game. Their leading scorer, Ledson, taking the draw. He's been dynamite all season long for Valley. Puck is about to be dropped, and it will be won by Letson. But Bokolas can't hold the line. He falls. A chance here, shorthanded for the, for the Thunder here on the right side. But looking for a chance here. It might have been a penalty, but no call. Bokolas recovers the puck now. He's looking to go end to end. Bokolas on the left side. Bokolas still behind his own net. Looking for an option. Finds Sam's at the top. Here's Sam's on the right side on the power play. Makes a move. Sam's takes a spin there. And his hard on the forecheck is Countway. Well defended there. And Fundy sends the puck down the ice. All the Wildcats will stay on in the power play here as Fundy makes changes. Having a trouble with it behind the net is the goaltender Lacouter. Dangerous chance there on the forecheck from Fundy on the penalty kill. Scrum in the corner now. There's the Wildcats looking the other way. Now with almost a stick of Ledson. Ledson with a puck now. Ledson shoots off the blocker. A thorn of the great save there. Puck goes out of play. Puck face off will be to his right. That's goaltender Thorn. As Wildcats make changes here. Still 1-0 here, 6-14 left in the first period. Graham on the draw for the Wildcats. Puck is dropped, Scram Graham will draw. Looks like it will be Fundy who recovers and they will send it all the way, or try to send it all the way down, but Eisenhower keeps it in. Off the stick of Diggins in the slot. On the left side for Christensen. Christensen looks for a man in front and it's loose! And a great chance there as Thorne had to be sharp as the puck came up, ended up in his five-hole, but he covered up off the deflection. So some good looks here for the Valley Wildcats in the power play. 30 seconds left on the man advantage. Face off again will be to the right of Thorne. Or now they're changing it to the left. Graham on the draw. Valley regains possession on the power play. Here's McDonald. McDonald had a little trouble with that. That's the recover back to Eisenhower. Eisenhower how closing on net off the stick of Thorn the deflection. And McDonald will try to clear it. Hits a couple of skates and stays in. Here's Eisenhower. Eisenhower back to Mc McDonald. A chance here for the Thunder on the breakaway here on the short hander. Just Wood. Wood shoots and scores. Short handed goal for the Fundy Thunder as Wood anticipates the play from D to D on the power play. Goes all the way and ties the game for the Thunder here in the first period. That's Owen Wood, number 16 for the Thunder. Great anticipation on the penalty kill. And they will get the shorthanded marker to tie the game. Seven seconds left on the penalty. Buchanan will take the draw against Harrison. Just Paris trying to send it in is Buchanan, but he gets disrupted. Dill now, Dill with the puck, gets a couple slashes from Dugan. Up to Dill now again, intercepted. Puck is going to be offside off that one as they cannot quite keep the line. So penalties expired now, back to five on five here. In the Sackville Arena, Nova Scotia U16 Triple A Hockey League Provincials brought to you by High Button Sports. Thank you for tuning in. Face off neutral zone, won by the Thunder. There's Owen Wood getting the goal credit there. Unassisted. Off the stick, off the win now. He chips up. There's Dill. Intercepted there, but it's going to be offside as Duggan can quite hold it there. You couldn't even hear the whistles. The announcement was going on there. 4.54 left here in the first. Some great action so far, a tie game. Eight, eight to seven are the shots in, in favor of the Wildcats. Wildcats got off to the early start here. They had a great first opening shift and they scored off, off that uh, momentum. But uh, the Thunder just responded with a power play goal, to, or a shorthanded goal, excuse me, to tie the game. 
Here's Glenn now off the faceoff over to Phillips. Phillips up to Bain who can't quite handle the pass. Countway on out over his partner Harrison. Harrison looks for his man up, up top there, but is intercepted by Stoddard and Letson. Here's Letson now over to Stoddard. And another great defensive play by the Thunder. Daly takes that puck now over to Dewar on. Stick lifted by Letson to cause a turnover in his defensive zone. Now Bain now. Bain going down the left side. Bain with Phillips and Stoddard. Bain trying to cut through. Fast defender. He's behind the net now. Countway takes his man away from the puck. Here's Wayland Countway down the left side. He dumps it in. The defenseman, he'll give chase. Lacouter bounces over his stick, trying to play it. Funny regains possession now, but it's taken away from Let's, by Letson. Here's Letson now for the Wildcats on the left side. Letson trying to make his way through. He has room on his great stick there in the last second. The Thunder defender has a chance in front. It's for Bain, just hops over his stick. Now right at the blue line. Right looking for the shot. Gets blocked. Another chance here from the blue line. And it's right on in. And Thunder to score. It's Stoddard on the doorstep. He gets the rebound and puts it through the legs of Thorne. And we have a 2-1 hockey game here. Point shot, rebound, and a dug in by Stoddard. Johnny on the spot. He makes it 2-1, gives the Valley Wildcats the lead here in the first period. It was uh, Ryland Kerrigan who took that point shot as we're about to redo that draw here at center ice. Sands and McDonald on the faceoff dot here. We'll try again. So 2 1 here for the Wildcats. Teams exchanging goals here early on. As the puck ends up on the stick of Christensen, who dumps it in. Thorne forced to play it over to McDonald. As Stoddard gets the goal credit there. Here's Sands with a chance here in the slot. Sands trying to make a move. He turns it back over to. Number three, there's Rutt now, number 12, who dumps it in. Down to McFitzgerald in the corner. He can't quite handle the pass there as he was bumped. As the puck made its way in. Uh, over the stick of Kerrigan, Rutt forced to retrieve the puck now. Misses his stick on the forecheck is McDonald. A couple big hits behind the net there. As we're looking for the puck to get loose, and it will get loose. Up to Paris in the blue line. Paris has time. Paris will look to shoot. Blocked in front by Christensen. McDonald now gets hit by Rutt. Big hit there in the corner. Another big hit there. Lots of physicality here between the two teams. There's Christensen down the wall. He chips it off. Paris trying to keep it in. He can't. Wood will get the puck off the, off the bench. Wood tries to get it to Singer. Singer with the puck still here. Here's Singer on the right side. Singer looking for McClellan. He can't connect with him. As the Valley Wildcats defender flicked that puck out of play. Wood now. Wood trying to dangle through Fitzgerald. And he will. Up to Singer. And the puck's will stay on side here as Blinn recovers for the Wildcats. Dumped in, intercepted there. Trying to find Singer for the stretch pass. They've been doing that all weekend long, trying to spring Springer, Singer, excuse me. And it's definitely worked a few times, but not there. As Singer gets the puck again in the neutral zone, here's Will Singer. Will Singer gets his puck stretched from Eisenhower. Vocalaz on him in the corner. Vokalaz, Eisenhower, and Singer in the corner, battling for it. Puck makes his way through to Wood. Wood up top, looking for Vandenberg on the left side. Hops over his stick, and we'll have another penalty here as v Valley will be taking their first penalty of the game. Not sure what happened there. It was behind the play. I'm sure Will Singer had something to do with it, though. As the Funny Thunder will have their first chance in the man advantage. 1.45 left here in the first period. We'll point on for another 15 period after this, 15 minute period after this, followed by a flood for the third period. As the Thunder send out their power play unit, Daly will take the draw. George on his left, McDonald on his right, O'Neill on the top with Paris. Scrum draw, McDonald up to O'Neill on the left side, O'Neill with the George. Holds on to it. There's Paris, excuse me, Paris. Paris down to Wood, up to O'Neill. O'Neill looking for the shot. He, it's blocked by Graham. Graham tries to carry it all the way down. He will after he takes a big hit by George. Daly now with the puck. Daly takes it from his own end. 
Daly still with it. Daly making his way through the neutral zone, gets stripped by Diggins. O'Neal recovers for the Thunder. Here's O'Neal on the power play. O'Neal making his way through the left side, looking for a stick in front, and that's intercepted by Phillips. As the puck will make its way out to the zone, Paris has to recover. 53 seconds left here in the first period. Countway now with the puck. Or oh, that's George, excuse me. He dumps it in. Lacour elected not to play it. Phillips trying to now funding regains possession. Here's Paris in the blue line. Paris walking the line. Paris down to O'Neal. O'Neal tries to dangle through. He can't quite do that as the puck ends up out of the zone. 28 seconds left. Here's Paris now. Paris making his way through the right side. Paris holding on to it. He spins. Finds Singer with some space here. Here's Singer. He shoots low. Rebound is not there as Lacour gobbled that up with McDonald on the doorstep. Singer had a chance in the high slot. He shot it low looking for the rebound, but a rebound was not produced. As we have 18 seconds left here in the period, 33 seconds left in the Valley Wildcats penalty to Bokalaz. Wildcats need one more player on the ice. As Letson joins the crew. Wood off the face off for the Fundy. He wins it down to McClellan, the captain. McClellan looking for a shot. He fakes one. McClellan hesitates, throws it on net. It's blocked in front. McClellan has a few seconds left here, nine seconds. He gets it over to Singer on the left side. Singer on the half wall. Here's Singer looking for a lane. He takes a slap shot, gets blocked. And that will just about do it for the first. As it is 2-1 for the Wildcats. Great action here to start off this game. As we will be back in a few moments after the break. We're back here for second period action. 15 seconds left on the Bokalaz power play, or penalty, excuse me, as we're just getting set to go. Face off, scrum draw. Now it's Wildcats in their own zone. They're looking to clear it down, but the man advantage comes to an end here for the Fundy Thunder, who's Singer in the neutral zone. Singer makes his way through down to the left side. Singer's still with it. He hesitates, 5-1-5 Four, five, five now, as he, Singer will dump it in. Here's Rutt now behind his own net. Well, on the right side is Eisenhower. Stoddard, excuse me. Here's Singer again with the puck. Singer looking for the shot. He gets one off, and it's right in the chest of LeCouter, who has trouble with it there, but ends up covering it off the shot from Will Singer in this high slot there. Great chance there early on in the second period. Shots on goal, 10 to 12 in favor of Bundy, but they are down a two to one here. Wood off the draw with, with Stoddard. I know. Wood wins it to Singer, gets the shot, just get a shot off, and a great chance there, but it's deflected out of play, off the face-off play. Almost 40 seconds gone here in the second period. Still 2-1. So I'll redo the draw here. After that chance that went out of play. While he wins it this time, Bokalas looking for his partner out of his reach. McDonald comes in to pinch. Puck ends up on the stick of Ledson, who turns it over to Singer. Singer with a chance down the slot. Here's Singer. He shoots off the right left pad of Lacuda, who makes a sharp save there. Puck ends up in the corner. Bokalas looking for it. McDonald on the forecheck ends up on the stick of Bain, but it turned over Singer. 
moves it out to the top. Looking for the shot, and they'll find it. And it's deflected wide. As McDonald gets the rebound, he takes a slap shot just wide as well. Keeping it in are the Thunder. And the chances for Singer here as the puck went up on his stick in the slot. He's looking for a call there after he got hit. But there will be no call on him. Here's McDonald now for the Thunder. Chips up to Singer, who wasn't ready for the pass. But finds the puck anyway. Here's Singer on the right side of his off. Gets a shot off, and it's saved by LeCouter there. Singer looking for the short side shot. LeCouter was sharp and stopped that one. As if a stoppage of play here. 13.30 left in the second period. Still 2-1 for the Valley. McDonald will take the draw, the forward for the, the Thunder. Against Sams. One by Sams. Phillips down with the puck. He finds McDonald. McDonald off the boards. Makes his way past Paris. It'll be an icing. As it did not hit a thundy, Thunder on the way down. So they will try again. Go all the way back down to the right of the goaltender for the Valley. That's LeCouter. Day two here in Sackville, Nova Scotia U16 Triple A Hockey League. Provincials. So lots to be decided here as there is no semifinals in this tournament. Just two, just one final. And that will be tomorrow at 9 a.m. Puck makes his way behind the Valley net. Looking for Hunt at the top there, but that's disrupted by Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald on the left side. Fitzgerald still with the puck. He tries to get it deep, and he gets upended by the Thunder. Fitzgerald runs the puck again, but there'll be another penalty. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be a slash. Looks like it'll be Fitzgerald who takes that one as the Fundy will go back on the power play. Let's see if they put their top scorer, Singer, back out on the ice, and they will. So Singer getting plenty of ice time here in the first, second period, excuse me. That's Wood, Duggan, Singer, McClellan, and Paris out there for Fundy. Looking to tie this game up here. Valley wins a draw. Phillips tries to clear it out, but he can't. Here's Paris now. Paris at the top, playing the quarterback position. Here's Paris over to Singer. Singer ever so dangerous, passes to Paris. Paris shoots and it ends up on net. A rebound is there for Duggan, but he just misses the, the tap in. As the puck ends up on the stick of McDonald, he will eat, eat the puck on the boards. Scrum ensues. Puck still there, ends up, makes his way out and is cleared by the Valley. Singer to back to retrieve the puck for the Thundy Thunder. Minute and a half left on the power play. Here's Singer now in his own zone, surveying the ice. Will Singer makes his way to the left side, gains his zone. Here's Singer trying to make his way through, and he just gets barreled into the net there, and a scrum will happen here, I'm sure, as Bokalaz taking exception to that, as Singer looked like it was pushed into the net, but always getting himself into trouble is Will Singer. And Bokalaz gave him a couple of shoves there. Or it was Phillips, excuse me, who gave him the shove. And he'll go off. Nope, looks like there won't, won't be any penalties there, but the referees are discussing it. From our angle here, Singer looked like he fell, maybe, might have been tripped, but he made no effort to get out of the way by any means. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame that on Will Singer. No penalties here. First unit stays out. A Paris actually changed for Vandenberg. That's the only changes the Thunder made as they had to readjust the net after Singer came barreling down into it. Wood on the draw. Wins it down to Singer up top for Vandenberg. Vandenberg now taking over for his quarterback. Vandenberg looks for the lane. He's blocked in front. Looks like D Douglas got a piece of that. Here's the Cats and McClellan now. McClellan gets the puck back. He shoots on net. It makes its way through. It's Duggan and another penalty coming here. Looks like it'll be a five on three for the Thunder. Looks like it might have been a cross check in front there off the rebound. As Vandenberg gets the puck now. Goalie will come off for, this, for the six on four. As Singer gets the puck in the slot. Singer still with it. He gets taken down. Will that be another penalty? We'll see here. Interesting development. As Singer was taken down, but it looks like it will just get the one hold. So it'll be a five on three for 40 seconds here for the Fundy Thunder looking to tie this game up. Looks like they'll keep mostly the same guys on. Singer, Duggan, Wood, McClellan, and Vandenberg all stay on for the five on three here. 40 seconds left. Scramble draw, Valley. 
tries to clear, but ends up with a stick of McClellan at the top. Here's McClellan. Vandenberg now. Here's Vandenberg. Switches with, with uh, Singer. Singer in the slot. Leaves it for Vandenberg. Chance here. Shoots. Rebound. And a great save off the paddle of Cooter, and the puck ends up wide. Wood now over to McClellan. McClellan still with it now. 17 seconds left in the 5 on 3. Singer at the top over to Vandenberg. Vandenberg looking for the man in front in the slot, I should say. Here's Singer now. Singer with a chance. He'll turn back. Singer still with it on the boards. Gets hit. Puck ends up with a stick of McClellan. Here's a chance here in the slot. McClellan shoots off the pad. Rebound is there. Can they find it? And they will. McCooter makes a couple great saves. As there's a man out in the box here. That's Drake Letson. Yes, it is. But Singer comes racing back. A two on one. Here's Graham and Letson. Letson can't get the shot off as Thunder had to come all the way back as the Valley Wildcats penalty expired. Another chance here for Singer on the other side. Here's Singer. He shoots just wide. So great action here in the second period as chances back and forth here for both teams. There's a chance there for Duggan. Not the one-timer in front. He can't find the net there. Singer gets taken down. Duggan with the puck now in the corner. Duggan still with it up top to Vandenberg. Vandenberg looking for a lane. He finds McClellan. McClellan out there goes across. McClellan looking to switch with Vandenberg. He will. Vandenberg finds the lane and he just misses wide. Great chance there for Vandenberg from the point. 30 seconds left on the power play. McClellan and Singer, one-timer Singer, can't get enough muster, but it makes his way through. Dangerous play there as the puck was bouncing. Singer fanned on that one, but it still made its way through as looks like he broke the stick, perhaps. Oh, pardon me, he was using another stick because he dropped his other one. So that's why he couldn't get enough muster of that. But both teams will make changes here. 10 minutes left in the second period. 26 seconds left in the power play for Thunder. That's a great, lots of great chances both ends in that one. Here's Hunt now on the right side for the, for the Thunder. Hunt is still with it. Hunt looking for his man up top is Paris. He'll find him. Here's Paris, fakes it off to Daly. Daly tries to dangle through and he gets a, he'll get a chance here. He won't as Eisenhower recovers and he'll chip it up. It looks like it'll be a high stick there as Paris played that a little too high up with his twig. Face off will be in the neutral zone. Let's see where they drop the puck. Looks like it'll be right in front of us here in the broadcast booth. Or, excuse me, the, on the other side, in front of the Valley bench. Dilly will take the draw against Ledson. Five seconds left in the power play. Having trouble with it is Blinn. He dumps it in. Hunt got a stick on it. Played by Thorne as the penalty expires. Back to five on five. Here's George now for the Thunder. George making his way through. Tries to dangle through. Daly gets it now. Daly has a chance here. He shoots off the crossbar. Try to go short side cheese and just hit the crossbar there. Great chance. Here's, Thun Here's Hunt pinching in now. Hunt behind the net. It's disrupted there by Ledson. Eisenhower now with the puck. Eisenhower tries to get through it, and it's taken away from George. George with a great defensive play. He shoots it on net off the blocker. Lakuta rebound is there, and there'll be another penalty as going for the rebound was George, I believe, and he got tripped up on his way through. That's Dwaron, excuse me, making his way through the rebound who got tripped up. And it will be Blinn for the Valley making his way to the penalty box with a tripping call. So 9.04 left here in the second. Another chance here for Thundee on the power play. Will Singer gets back out there with, with Wood and Dugan, Vandenberg, and McClellan on the blue line. They got rid of the penalty on the board, so they'll put it back up. There we go. They put it on the wrong side. Wood wins it back to Singer on the blue line. Here's Singer. Singer fires it on net, makes his way through it just wide as Wood plays it over to McClellan. McClellan, the captain for the Thunder Thunder, makes his way up to Vandenberg. Vandenberg over to Singer. Singer looking for a shot. He just misses there. That was roomed. Goalie was screened. Here's McClellan now looking for the shot. Gets it off. Lacuter with the save. Great blocker save from Lacuter. Puck is in a scrum in the corner now as the Thunder gain possession. Here's McClellan on the blue line. As they call the tripping call. Here's McClellan off the chance here. Back to McClellan. McClellan down to Wood. Wood makes a move here. Looking for the man in front. As Duggan a great chance there. As Duggan had a stick in front. And another chance. And as Puck stays out. Looking for the clear. 
Valley will get it out the zone as Vandenberg has to go back to the neutral zone to tag up. He'll dump it back in. Rutt right on it. Rutt right with some time here, but he'll rim it around right to Singer, but it takes a funny hop. And a chance here for Valley. Here's Caret who elects to dump it right in as he's tired from the penalty kill. Thorne will play behind the net. McClellan has some pressure there. Singer takes over. Here's Will Singer on the left side. Singer looking for his man on the right. He'll find Wood. Wood takes a shot, and it's a funny bounce to stay out of Will as it ends up in the equipment of LeCouter. Had to be sharp there. 37 seconds left here on the power play for the Thunder. 7.40 left in this period. 24 to 10 are the shots now for Fundy after a couple power plays. But it is still 2-1 Valley here in the second period of the Sackville Arena. A little bit of delay here as Lakuda has some trouble with his skate play, it looks like. I'm trying to sort that out. This is the goaltender. As they blow the whistle, looking for a faceoff, Daly. Daly wins it back. Up ahead for Dwaron, who gets a shot off, and the rebound is there. Lakuda had to be sharp as the puck was laying there for a secondary opportunity. And he had to make both saves. Face off to, will be to his left. 32 seconds left on the power play. They change it to his right. Daly off the draw against Graham. Puck ends up on the stick of Phillips, who sends it down. Here's Dwaron in his own zone. Makes, tries to make a play. But Diggins intercepts for Valley, but he loses it off a fan clearing attempt. Here's George now on the left side. George, George still with it. Makes his way over to Paris. Ten seconds left in the power play for the Fundy Thunder. Paris now. He spins to avoid his four checker. Here's George now at the top. George shoots and it's deflected and just wide. Hit a stick in front there as Bokalaz the puck now. He tries to clear and it can't and it will get by Paris in the blue line as George dumps it back in. Power play is over. And so it's still it's still a 2-1 lead for Valley as they're hanging on here with lots of penalty killing. Here's Diggins now looking to make a play with the puck. Thunder is changing. Puck is on the stick of Phillips now. The defenseman Phillips trying to make his way through gets stripped. Puck is now on Bokalaz's stick. He makes the breakout pass. Dumped in. Chips into the neutral zone. Diggins gets a glove on it. Here's Diggins now. Diggins now in his own zone looking for his partner. Diggins Makes the play up to Dill. Dill still with it now. Dill will chip it down. Countway to retrieve the puck for the Thunder. Countway, puck is balancing on him. He gets like a big hit. Looks like it was Dill on the four check. Big hit there on Countway as his neck guard falls off. He's forced to change. Puck ends up in the corner. There's McDonald now. McDonald for the Wildcats. Lost the, so three McDonald's in this game. Here's Blinn now, makes a blind pass, and intercepted. Lets him with the hit there. McDonald had a chance there in front. His door on on the doorstep, but he can't connect there. Stoddard now makes a chip play up to Paris. Paris, and the Paris looking for a lane. Here's Paris on the left side. Paris still with it. Paris behind the net. Paris holding onto the puck very well. Gets hit by Dill. A little scrum in the corner. Makes, puck makes the way up to Vandenberg in the point. Here's Vandenberg looking for the shot. He gets it off and it just goes wide. High and wide was Vandenberg on that one. Puck makes the way up to Paris. He chipped. Then intercepted by Phillips. Or that's McDonald, excuse me. As Puck was played with the hand, with the hand pass, so that'll be a whistle. 5-14 left here in the second period. Great action here as Fundy had a couple of power play chances. They had a 5-on-3 followed by another power play, so the shots are 26 to 10 in, in favor of them. But the Valley is still on top, two to one, as the Drake Ledson line comes out here. Drake Ledson is second team all-star in the Nova Scotia U16 AAA Hockey League regular season. He's out there with Bain and Stoddart against Will Singer and Wood and McClellan. So both teams putting their top line out there. Here's Singer down the slot. Singer shoots, uh, and a great save by LeCouder. He had to be sharp there. Singer carrying him in with the slot. McClellan now, there's a chance for Wood and another save from Lacuda as Wood was on the doorstep. Off a great play behind the net from McClellan. Face off will be to the right of Lacuda here as the singer line stays on. But Ledson and company will 
head off in favor of Sam's Fitzgerald. And Christensen. Wood wins a draw. Here's McClellan now looking for a lane. Can't get one. Puck is taken off his stick by Sam's. Sam's now to Christensen in the neutral zone. Christensen tries to dump it in. But he'll get the puck back. Puck ends up on the stick of Wood. Now Singer now again. Singer dumps it in. McCooter plays it. Harness that. Tried to leave it for his defenseman there. Watch out here as the puck is bouncing. As Lacuda was trying to play the puck to his defenseman, nobody was there. Puck kind of got fumbled into his skates. But the puck stays out, and it's still 2 1. 4.31 left here in the second period. Great action here at the Sackville Arena. 2 1 is our score. And the singer line will stay out for another draw here as Bally will make changes. Phillips and Bokalaw is back out there on the defensive zone draw. Looks like Valley took a penalty. I guess they gave him. Um, I guess they gave him a, a 10 minute miscon. I guess it's just two minutes there. Not sure what happened there. But Sam's is in the box now. Maybe he was barking at someone. Regardless, the Thunder Thunder will go in the power play again here, looking to tie the game. So here's Singer now in the power play. Singer. Singer on the blue line. He'll slow it down. Vandenberg. Vandenberg still with it now. Vandenberg finds Singer. Singer looking for the shot. He gets one, and it's right in the chest of LeCouter. He makes the save. We'll wait for the announcement here for the penalty. Not sure what it was. 147 left on that penalty. Wood will take the draw. Wood against Christensen. A scramble draw in the body. And it makes its way to the stick of Phillips, who sends it all the way down. So unsportsmanlike is the call on Sam's. So it must have been something he said. Singer now in his own zone. Singer dangling through. He'll look to dump it in, and he will. What did Phillips have to chase after it? End up with a stick of Duggan. Now Vandenberg on the top. Vandenberg looking for his man McClellan, but that is a great play by Bokalas with a stick to alleviate that chance. Fundy top unit will stay on. Or excuse me, looks like they'll make changes. As Dwaron Paris head out there with Daly George and McCauley. 3.45 left here in the second. Daly will take the draw. Against Graham. One, one by Graham and it'll send all the way down. Thorne has to play it as there's Eisenhower on him. Thorne makes the right play over up to Daly. Daly, the right-handed shot, making his way through the left side. Leaves it for, for George. George with the shot. It's blocked by Phillips. Dwaron with it now. Up top for Paris. He attempts it down, all the way down to Bokolas, who tries to get out, but can't get by Paris in the blue line. As a scrum ensues, it's up to George now. George looking to go cross for his man down to Paris. Paris with it now. Paris with a chance here with a shot, and it scores! A great shot from Paris in the power play. Makes its way through the screen, and we have a tie hockey game. Some great puck movement there by Fundy Thunder on the man advantage. And we have ourselves a 2-2 game here. Lots of bodies in front, and the puck makes its way through. So 2-2 two, two is our score here. A great game in game number four of day two here in Sackville. Hunt now over to Vandenberg. Harrison gets hit, and a chance here for Fundy. Puck is taken away by McDonald. Here's Blinn now, and a high hit there as he left his feet. There's Rutt back to Dill. Dill with it now, makes a chip and play. Kept in by Vandenberg at the blue line. So, so that's Caden Paris with the goal. Dorian with the assist. There's the goal call there. Puck on the stick. 
A big hit there by Ledson on the four check. Steered away from Thorne off the blue line chance there. And another power play here, another penalty, excuse me, as pushing and shoving goes on. Not sure who that was on as I was looking the opposite direction. We'll see here. Looks like they'll be taking a Fundy Thunder player off, O'Neill. Oh, so O'Neill headed to the box. We'll see what the call is here. Big chance for Valley to take the lead. Their second power play of the game as Letson stays out there. Ledson, Bain, Stoddart, Sams, and Bokolas, the unit for the Fal Wally Wildcats. Fundy wins the draw, Countway. Over to his partner, McClellan, who shoots it all the way down. Right onto the Cooter. The Cooter forced to cover it. As for checking hard was Wood. So be a defensive zone draw for Valley on the power play. We'll see what the call was for the announcement, waiting for that. So what did McClellan out there to kill this one off of Countway? And Paris, the goal scorer. Draw is won by the Wildcats who got possession. There's Bokolas in his own end. Bokolas looking for the regroup here. Letson swings, leaves it for him. Letson with some speed. Letson on the right side. Drake Letson makes his way through. He gains his zone on the right side, looking to go around the net. Set up the power play, and the puck is fumbling on him. Letson still with it, and it makes his way out as Wood was there on the forecheck. Bokolas now. Here's Bokolas. Bokolas on the left side. Bokolas the defenseman. Bokolas behind the net now. Looking for his man up top at Sam's. He finds him at the top. Sam's now makes a move. Sam's still with it. Sam's turns up to Bokolas. Bokolas looking for Letson. He finds him on the left side. Here's Letson looking for the shot. He makes a pass to Sam's and a great save. Oh my goodness. Thorne came across off the cross seam play there to make an absolutely amazing save. He robs Sam's of the backdoor play. That's exactly what the fun the Wildcats are looking for an opportunity. Which lets him come the other way as he gets disrupted and he gets hit into the boards there. No call. Bain now with the puck. Here's Bain in the slot. Bain looking for a shot. He gets one off and he scores! Carter Bain finds the back of the net on the power play as he goes across the slot there. What action here as a big hit on Ledson and ended up having Bain open in the slot, and he makes no mistake. And we have ourselves a 3-2 hockey game with 50 seconds left in the period. So exciting action here in Sackville. 3-2 is your score for Valley. Sams take the draw. Scramble draw, Singer gets it in the neutral zone. 45 seconds left now, Singer enters the zone. Here's Sams, who is disrupted by Duggan, who dumps it in. McDonald now behind his own net. McDonald looking for Fitzgerald, but he'll curl back. Now McDonald behind his own net. Up to Christensen, who gets the puck off his stick. Shot by Vandenberg, doesn't make it to the net. Fitzgerald now. 25 seconds left in the period. Sc scramble on the boards here. Puck, a hit, big hit there. As they announce the goal. Carter Bain with the goal, big hit there in the blue line. And there's five seconds left here in the period, so Kerrigan will try and dump it in. One last chance here, but the buzzer will go. As we have ourselves a great game here, three to two. After two, the Thunder and the Wildcats providing, providing some great hockey for us here. We will be right back after the flood.
Third period action here at the Sac Florina. 3-2 game for the Valley Wildcats. Great action here as the Thunder looking to tie the game up here. An early whistle for a hand pass. Eight seconds in. Faceoff will be in the neutral zone. Sam's line out there to start with Eisenhower. And Graham. Will Singer out there for the Thunder, looking to tie this game up. Him, McClellan, and Wood. Shot off from McClellan is blocked by Bokalas. Puck behind the net. Turned over and a quick chance there. Here's Singer with the rebound. He shoots and another save from LeCouter. This puck ended up on the stick of McClellan, who fired away. Close chance there. Singer now, still with it, holding on to it. Singer with a dangle. Singer tries to shoot. It's a low and it's just wide as he threw the puck on net low. Rimmed all the way around to Singer. Up to Vandenberg for the slap shot. He's looking for the tip from McClellan. He can't get a stick on it. Another chance there. Ends it back on the stick of Singer. Singer tries to dump it in. Up to Vandenberg now. Over across. Looking for the shot. Is blocked. Sams now recovers. Sams looking for Eisenhower. Back to Sams on the right side. Here's Sams looking to get in the zone. He'll chip it in. Vandenberg and McDonald out there. Thorne forced to play it. Vandenberg with the puck behind the net. Vandenberg looking for his man. Goes out the boards. But Phillips is there keep the puck in. McClellan now with the puck looking for Singer in the blue line. He can't get a handle on it as Eisenhower goes the other way for the Wildcats. Here's Eisenhower on the right side. Eisenhower dangles through. Eisenhower with the puck behind the net. Trying to go up top for Blinn. But he'll send it down instead but it is intercepted by Hunt. Hunt goes to the right side looking for the shot off and it's off the stick of Bokalaz. As Fitzgerald comes the other way, and he is upended, and it will be another penalty as Valley will go on the man advantage here after the Thunder Thunder touch up. So 18 16 left in the third period. Valley will go on the power play, and then Ledson he heads out there. Daly took that one as he might have been a hook, might have been a trip, but he disrupted Fitzgerald on his way through. And that'll be two minutes. Face off here. Won by the Thunder. Harrison tries to send it down and he will. Quick clear here for Fundy. Bokalaz behind his own net. Bokalaz holds it. Looking up top for Stoddart with it. Stoddart now. Looks across for Bain. Bain. Sends it over to Sam. Sam's with it now, getting shoved, but holds onto it. Sam's with a shot and off the stick of Paris. And now Sam's with it again. Here's Sam's. He dangles. Sam's looking for the backdoor play. But gets a shot. Here's Bokolas now. Bokolas shoots, blocked. Eisenhower now up to Sam's. Sam's dangles through. Sam's looking for the backdoor play off the stick of Bain, and it goes in. That's Stoddart, who taps that one home. Great play by Sam's to find him on the back door. And it is four to two, Valley. So a power play goal here. Lots of power plays and lots of power play goals in this game. As Valley is now up by two goals in the third period. Face off at center ice. O'Neill will take it from here against Graham. Scramble draw. Countway over to his partner. That's Vandenberg. He chips it through. Vandenberg still with it. Vandenberg getting lots of ice time here in this game. As Dill sent it down. Vandenberg intercepts. Vandenberg up to O'Neill. O'Neill trying to get past Dill, and he will. Here's O'Neill with a chance here. Three on two. O'Neill taken away by McDonald, but he gets it back. Now it's a goal call. That will go down for icing. So Stoddard picks up his second goal on the power play. Bokolas and Sands with the apples. Power play goal. O'Neill will take the draw off the icing. Puck is dropped. One by Valley. Right now behind his own net. Dugan intercepts. Here's Duggan. 
Duggan throws it on net there. Sneaky chance there, but Lacuda had to be sharp, and he was. As O'Neill gets the puck back now. O'Neill holds on to it on the blue line. O'Neill gets it taken away. Vandenberg recovers in the neutral zone now in his own end. Vandenberg off the boards to, to intercepted by McDonald. He'll play it over to Dill. Dill over to Diggins. Taken away by Vandenberg again, who sends it all the way down. And that'll be another icing. 4-2 to two score here. Shots and goal 33-14. to 14. But Valley, despite being down in the shot category, is up in the goal category, 4-2. to two. $100 draw here in the 50-50. There's the 50-50 numbers. Face off. Vandenberg tries to get over to Countway. Misses his stick. And Buchanan with a chance there. Puck ends up with a stick of Eisenhower in the corner. Eisenhower loses it to Countway. Eisenhower gets it back. Here's Eisenhower. Eisenhower still with looking for Blinn, but can't connect with him on the blue line. As Harrison was there to disrupt that. Sent in by Carrot Rhett. Buchanan now on the forecheck. Buchanan still with it. Up top. Quick shot there. Another penalty will happen here. Has a chance here on the for Duggan, but it'll be a penalty. So that power that breakaway chance will not happen. As the Valley Wildcats go back on the power play here, looking to make it a three goal game in the third period. O'Neill heads to the box for, for Fundy. Lots and lots of penalties in this one. Let's in line back out there for the power play. Sam's there and Stoddard, of course, looking for the trick. Stoddard now plays it to Letson. Letson on the half wall. There's Letson up top to Bokulaz. Bokulaz over to Sams. Sams shoots. A great save by Thorne with a glove as Sams came in off the right side. Right into the catching glove of Thorne. 1541 here left in the third. 148 on the power play. Still 4 to 2. Started off the draw. Wins it back to Bain. Now Bokulas. Bokulas across to Letson. Letson looking for his man Bain. Bain with it now. Bain back to Letson. Intercepted. But Letson gets, wins that battle. Letson with the puck now. Letson tries to get it on net. Hits a couple of bodies. Here's Bain behind the net. Bain to Sams. Sams makes the move. Up top to Bokulas. He's Bokulas looking for the shot. He gets it off and throwing again with the glove. We'll cover that one. As the Wildcats will make changes on the power play, as well as Thunder on the kill. Vandenberg, Singer out there. Graham, Eisenhower, McDonald, Christensen out there for Valley. Faceoff is won by Valley. As a player falls down, that's Scrum in the corner now. That's Douglas who fell. Cleared by Fundy. So McCulley is a back-to-back -back champion in the 50-50. Takes home $100. McDonald now on the power play. That's Eisenhower, excuse me. Eisenhower makes his way to the left side. Eisenhower behind the net. Looking to set up here. Over across to Christensen. Christensen shoots in another glove save by Thorne. As he covers up. 49 seconds left on the kill. Shots on goal, 33 to 17 in favor of Fundy, but they find themselves down two goals in the third period. 14-43 left to play as the Thunder, the Valley try to make a late change and they cannot. As Douglas is forced to go back out there. Face off, one by Fundy. They will send it all the way down on the kill. The Cooter out to play it. He misses it. Eisenhower there. Eisenhower over to McDonald. McDonald looking for a man there. He holds it onto it. McDonald still with the puck in the neutral zone. McDonald makes his way through the zone. McDonald shoots. And another save by Thorne as he covers up. 28 seconds left on the power play. As Valley will make changes. They'll send Dill and Fitzgerald out there alongside Phillips and Rutt. Face off to the right of Thorne. 
one back. Here's Phillips. Phillips looking for a shot. Attempts, it's chance there as the puck was bouncing. And Thorne had to be sharp. Was there. Puck in the corner. A couple bodies flying around. Vandenberg, he's down. Puck is still loose. Puck behind the net. Up top for Rutt. Here's Rutt now. Rutt over to Phillips with the shot. It's blocked by Wood. Up for McDonald now. He's past his skate, so Rutt will have to regroup, and he sent it back down. As we are now back to 5-on-5 five five action here. Fundy kills that one off. Pivotal moment there in the game as Vandenberg gets it. Trying to find McDonald on the wall. He'll puck ends up on the stick of Phillips. He'll send it over to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald tries to dump it in. Fitzgerald ends up on the stick now. Here's George. George chips off the boards. Phillips sends it back down. Wood now. Or Hunt, excuse me. Hunt now looking for his partner. He'll send it up through the zone. Phillips corrals it. Intercepted by McDonald, but it's going to be offside despite the, the Thunder claiming that they were onside. Close call there, right in front of the broadcast booth. Fans not impressed with that call, but whistle ensues and we'll have ourselves a draw in the neutral zone. Daly, Dwaron out there with Paris and Countway. Let's in line back out. One puck is sent all the way down. Countway has to go behind his own net with the puck. Countway spins off his four checker. Countway still with it. Right side. Looking for this breakaway pass for Daly, but the Valley Cat defender is there to disrupt that. As here's Countway, the blue line. Countway elects to pass to Dwaron as hits the skate of Bluin. Doesn't make it through. Here's Valley now. Valley over to Stoddard. Stoddard throws his on net, is blocked. Chance here the other way for Fundy. There's George. George on the left side, dangles through. George might have been hooked there, and he was. Another penalty here as Fundy will go back on the power play. And the whistle goes. So George was hooked on the way through, trying to cut in. And the Thunder will go back to the main advantage here, looking to cut the lead in half as they're down two. Let's see if Will Singer ends up on the ice. He will be out there. So Singer, McClellan, Vandenberg, Dugan, and Wood. The top unit for Thundy out there trying to make this a one-goal game. He's dug in now behind the net. Up to McClellan. McClellan misses wide. Puck ends up over to Singer on the right side. Here's Singer. Singer looking for the backdoor play, and it's a great save by LeCouter as it was Wood wide open on the back door. Great pass from Will Singer on the half wall. As the Cooter had to come across with a pad to make a great save there. Wood will take the draw. Here's, here's Singer now, switches with McClellan. McClellan on the half wall. McClellan looking for Singer. Singer goes some room here. Singer with a slap shot, he shoots and it's blocked. And he puck ends up on the stick of Vandenberg, who misses wide. McClellan now on the, on the half wall. McClellan shoots. Rebound in front. Here's Singer now up top. Singer shoots. And they make a great save by LeCouter. Puck is loose. Rebound scored. Duggan. Power play goal for the Fundy Thunder. They make it just a one goal game in the third period. Big goal there for Duggan. He gets the rebound, goes five hole. So another power play goal in this one. The story of the game has been the special teams. As we have ourselves a 4-3 game with 11.43 left in the period, final period of regulation. So a big finish coming here. Here's Sams for the Wildcats. Sams blocked off of his shot attempt. Paris and him battling with the puck now. Here's Vandenberg still out there. Sorry, that's not puck ends up on the on the stick of Phillips, who disrupts that breakout attempt. Here's Sams now. Fitzgerald dumps it in. Puck behind the net there. Trying to go to McCauley. Puck is still in the boards there. Fitzgerald battling. Puck is loose, and that goes out of play. As McDonald chipped that out. And there will be 
A whistle. Puck will be inside here, face off in the Thunder zone. 11 minutes left, four to three game here in Sackville. So Henry Duggan with the goal there. Singer with the assist. Singer having an outstanding playoffs for the Thunder, leading them with points. Had a hat trick yesterday. Oh, McDonald's taken down by Dwaron from behind. Another penalty here. Um, did not look like he meant to do that in a vicious way. Regardless, he will be given a minor penalty, at least. Maybe he's, yep, there's a misconduct for his reaction to that one. As that is the end of his night, it looks like. So Dwaron gets the gate. So uh, Fundy with a little momentum there, and they take a penalty. So they'll have to go back to the kill here as O'Neill will serve it. What did McClellan out there for the kill? Valley back on the power play here. Let's in line about there. Stoddard looking for the trick again. Sam's out there at Bocalaz. Sam's off the draw up to Letson. Letson delays on the blue line. Here's Letson showing great patience. Here's Sam's now. Sam's in the right half wall. Cross ice for Letson. He loses the handle. Down to Bain. Bain with it still. Up to Letson. He has a chance here. He shoots and it's blocked by Wood. Great play there. As he's hurting, slowly getting up there is Wood. Bocalaz over to Sam's now. Sam's trying to use his speed. He gets through it. He shoots. Rebound is loose. But no Wildcats were there to pot it home as Fundy will clear. The Cooter leaves it for Bocalaz. The captain Bocalaz looking to go up the ice to Stoddard. He finds him over to Bain. Bain with it now. Bain up high. Looks saucer pass to Sams. He can't handle that. That's a chance here for Singer, perhaps, but Puck cannot get to him. Here's Letson now. Letson tries to get it to Stoddard. Here's Bain with a shot. Here's Sams. Sams shoots just wide. Great chance there. Top half was open for sure. Off a little bit of a broken play there. Sams to the puck in front, but cannot jam it home. Here's Bokolovs makes a move through. Bokolovs looks like he was, might have been hooked there. No call. Lets him now. Lets him with it still off to Bokolovs. Bokolovs sends it down to Ledson. Ledson still with it now. Ledson holding on to it. Ledson behind the goal line. Ledson taken down. Again, no call there as the net comes off for the whistle. 9.32 left in the period. 35 seconds left in, on the penalty. We have ourselves another whistle. Valley will make changes. They send their second power play unit out there. Count way in Paris on defense. For Fundy. Referees discussing where the draw will be. Looks like it'll be inside. Face off will be to the left of Thorne. Graham on the draw for the Wildcats. Paris takes control off the draw. Eisenhower kicks it deep. Cantway with it now is a chance for a clear and he can't get it all the way down. He gets it to the red line as McDonald turns back in the neutral zone. Here's McDonald knives through. McDonald left side, he turns back. McDonald still with it now. McDonald spins. Gets up top to Christensen over to Eisenhower. Nine seconds left in the kill. As Eisenhower gets it back at the top. Eisenhower with a slap shot. He shoots. The rebound is there, but it's just put wide. Another chance here for Christensen as the power play is now over. Back to five on five. Great kill there for Fundy as they're down to gold there. And big save from Thorne. As Eisenhower gets it on the half wall. A chance here for Fundy. Two on one. That's McDonald over to Singer. Will Singer gets the puck taken away from him by Christensen. Here's Eisenhower now with a chance here. Eisenhower's shot is blocked by McDonald. Eisenhower gets the puck back. He'll send it down. Vanderbilt, Vanderberg battling down there. A big hit there as he sends his man to the boards. Singer now with the puck. There's Will Singer behind his own net looking for a man up top. Tries to get a stretch pass going to McDonald but can't connect as Blinn was there to intercept. Valley tries to dump it in. It's their own player. That's Dill now through the neutral zone. Here's Dill. Dill with it, making his way through. 
and a big hit there. A big collision there, head into the net as two bodies collided. No call there. There's Blinn trying to keep it in. There's Vandenberg after the big hit there. He hits it off the glass. It will be icing. So a big collision there in front of the Fundy Thunder net. As Dill and Vandenberg collided in front. As Thorne has to make some adjustments to his pad. Faceoff will be to his left. We'll delay here. We have a chance here to go over the score from today. Uh, the Kings won 5-3 to three earlier over these Valley Wildcats, followed by a big win for Fundy over the Armada, 4-3. to three. The Kings then beat Buccaneers 5-3 to three in the third game. Later on tonight at 6 o'clock, we have the Buccaneers against the Armada. Big game there. Uh, as Fundy will most likely advance in this tournament with a win, but they are down by one goal in the third period. Here's a chance here for Singer, two-on-one with Daly. Here's Singer. Singer shoots in the direct, directed in the corner by LeCouter. As Singer had a chance there with Daly on a two-on-one. Daly with the puck now. Gets it taken away. Hunt and Daly team up to get the puck back as Daly dumps it in. Looking for the cross ice pass to Fitzgerald off his stick. Hunt is there. Here's Hunt. Back to Hunt there. Partner pass. Over to Harrison. Harrison making his way through the zone here. Harrison has a shot off and off the glove of LeCouter. Goes wide. It's Fitzgerald and Harrison are battling on the boards. Here's Rutt now. Rutt tries to pass over to Phillips. There's Caret got the puck taken away from him. He's trying to get the puck to Fitzgerald. He'll, Fitzgerald will dump it in. Thorne out to play, a chance there. There's a bounce. Here's McClellan, the captain. Looking for his man, Wood. But can't quite connect there, and that will be icing. 6.30 left here in the third period, 4-3 hockey game. Great action here at the Sackville Arena. Nova Scotia U16 AAA Hockey League action provincials here at the Sackville Arena. High Button Sports bringing you the live stream here. Lots of live streaming going on today throughout the province and the Maritimes. Here's Stoddard here with a shot, the face off for the hat trick, and Thorne makes the save there. As Bain lets in and start at the dangerous line for the Valley Wildcats are back out there for the Ozone draw. Stoddard loses the draw to Wood. Paris looking for a stretch pass to Wood. McClellan there might beat the icing, but he is not quite fast enough to get there in time. And the puck will go all the way back down to the Fundy Thunder zone. 6.17 left here in the period. Shots are 38 to 23 in favor of Fundy, but they find themselves down by a goal here late in the third. Let's take this draw on the left side. One by Fundy. Looking for a stretch pass to Duggan. Can't quite connect with him. Bokolas gets the puck. Bokolas up to Stoddard. Stoddard gains his own. Stoddard shoots and another glove saved by Thorne. As he saw that all the way. Six minutes left in the period. Valley will make changes. So will Fundy. Vandenberg out there on the blue line. He's had lots of minutes out there for the Thunder. Count way his partner. Puck face off one by Fundy. Valley recovers a chance there in front. And a big save by Thorne there on the doorstep as a puck found the stick of Buchanan in front. But Thorne was there to make the save. Puck ends up on the other side now. Buchanan behind his own net. Looking for Corette. But Vandenberg holds the line, sends a chopping puck down on net. LeCouter covers. A little bit of shoving going on there. Nothing crazy as LeCouter covers the puck up. Five and a half left here. One goal game, four to three still. Valley makes changes in the forwards. The forwards there. Sam's out on the ice. Face off to the right of LeCouter. One 
by Bundy. Countway sends it in deep into Phillips' corner. He sends it out to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald can't quite get by George. Fitzgerald gets the puck back. Here's Fitzgerald on the left side. He'll dump it in. Vanderberg plays it out to McCulley. McCulley is still with it now for Christensen. Christensen a chance here to Sams, and the shots are there as Rutt holds the line. Rutt will dump it in deep, and a big hit there in the blue line as Weatherby and Rutt collide. Lots of physicality in this one. We'd like to see that here as Phillips takes the puck behind his own net. He'll reverse it over to Rutt. Rutt trying to make a play as George is there heavy on the forecheck. Rutt over to Phillips. Phillips gets the puck taken away from him. McCauley there on the forecheck. Now Christensen, Ooh, he loses it. There's George. George with a chance here, but taken away from Rutt. Rutt off the glass. Vandenberg, partner pass to Countway. Countway and Fitzgerald battling as Phillips re it in his own, own, own zone. Trying to dangle through is Rutt, but Fundy is there. Singer now on the forecheck. Puck gets out on the stick of Vandenberg, who will send it all the way down. Play with a high stick by Phillips. So a whistle will be blown as Phillips played the puck with the high stick. Face-off will be in the Valley Wildcats zone. McClellan, Wood, and Singer out there on the O-zone draw, looking to tie this game up here, 4-10 left in regulation. Big, big chance here for Bundy as Valley wins that draw. Bokolas the puck in his own zone. Bokolas tries to get it to Diggins. He can't quite handle the pass. Up to Wood now, here's Singer. Singer of a chance now. Singer looking over to McClellan. He can't quite connect with him. Great chance there. Here's Singer now on the left side. Singer, three bodies on him. Still with the puck. Valley recovers off the glove of McClellan. Off the head of Diggins. Playing some head button there. Here's Paris now. Diggins in the neutral zone over to Eisenhower. Here's Eisenhower entering the zone. Eisenhower looks to make a move, and he will. Eisenhower still with it. He goes five-hole. The great save there by Thorne to keep this a one-goal game. There's Singer now. Singer over to Wood. Wood dangles, and it's disrupted by McDonald. As a late shove there, looks like it'll be a couple of, couple of penalties after that play. As after the shot, Wood gave LeCouter an extra chop. McDonald did not like that, and he took exception. Not sure if they're taking both guys, but Wood is definitely going to the box. We'll see what happens here. It looks like it'll be... Just Wood. So Valley will go on the power play here with 324 left. A big kill is needed. As Wood, one of their top penalty killers, is in the box. Anxious moments here. Let's line back out there. Top unit for Valley. Looking to close this game out here. Bokalaz on the blue line has to hold it in. And that's over to Ledson with a shot, and that ends up out of play. Face off will be inside. 3.15 left in the period. Shots on goal, 38 to 26 in favor of Bundy, but they are down by a goal here. Ledson on the draw. Ledson wins it back to Bokolas, who sends it in deep. Ledson now. Letson on the half wall. Letson up top looking for a give and go play as Letson just hit that one wide. Great chance there. As Fundy looking to clear with Vandenberg out there. Again, Letson intercepts his clearing attempt. There's Letson on the half wall. Letson up for Bain. Bain over to Sams on the right side. Sams in the lane. He shoots another glove save by Thorne as he calmly covers that one up. Top unit will stay out there for Valley. With 2.47 left here in the period in regulation. Fundy will make changes as McClellan and Singer head off. Starr off the draw on the right side. Looks like Starr is taking the right hand at draws and lets him taking the left. Here's Sams now. Sams over to Bokolas in the point. Here's Bokolas looking for a lane. He finds Letson on the left side. Letson back to Bokolas. He has some room here. Letson shoots low. And big save there from Thorne with the pad. Letson gets the rebound. 
down to Bain, who tries to get back to Letson, but he's out of the zone. So they'll have to regroup here. Bokalaz back to Letson, back to Bokalaz, playing give and go. Here's Bokalaz, the captain, makes his way through. Bokalaz with a shot, and it's a big save there from Thorne with the blocker. As Fundy will clear the zone. Letson going to retrieve. 45 seconds left in the power play. Top unit stays on. Bokalaz leaves the ice. Here's Letson. Letson with a chance here. Letson shoots and just wide. Great chance there as Bain trying to get a rebound shot off, but he can't get some wood on it. As George will send the puck all the way down the ice into the bench. Hits the helmet of a Wildcat. Face off will be inside the Thunder zone. Just over under two minutes left in the regulation time. 33 seconds left on the power play for Bundy. Looks like it'll be a no, no timeout. Graham on the draw. Looks like he'll get kicked out. Eisenhower will take his place. Scramble draw. Graham. Eisenhower. Here's Douglas. Up top for McDonald. McDonald looking for a shot. He fans on it, so the puck will go all the way back down. Lacouter forced to play here with the McCauley forechecking. Here's Rutt over his partner, McDonald. McDonald on the left side. He finds Rutt again. Ten seconds left on the kill for Fundy. Rutt bring the puck down to his own zone. Rutt up to Diggins. Diggins down the right side. Diggins, as the pel penalty is now over, back to five on five. Rutt sends it in deep. Wood back out there. Wood looking for a man. It's a skate. McCulley looking for a chip. Hunt sends it in deep as Fundy will make changes. Look for Will Singer to come back out there, and he will alongside McClellan. As we enter the last minute of play here in regulation, one goal game. Valley and Thunder battling it out here as McDonald takes the puck from the defenseman. He'll try and dump it in. He will. Diggins to Eisenhower behind the net. Hunt battling with Eisenhower and, and Ledson back out there. Here's Ledson with the puck. Le Ledson keeps it in for Eisenhower. Eisenhower over to Ledson with a shot. He just misses wide. Phillips now on the right side. 25 seconds left in this game as Ledson on the left side. He'll throw it back in deep. Valerie trying to kill the clock here in the anxious moments. Fundy can't seem to get the puck out of their own zone looking to tie the game as the clock will trickle down to 10. And then we'll have another penalty here. This could be a big chance if it is against Valley, but I don't think it is. As it will be the Thunder heading to the box. That is Caden Paris. Or that's, excuse me, that's Hunt. So eight seconds left in this one, four to three. Late power play for Valley. Looks like. A couple of changes here for the Wildcats. Draw here. There's Sam's with it. Sam's dangling through. Sam's looking back door for Eisenhower. Can't get a handle on it as the buzzer will go. And the Valley Wildcats win this one, four to three over the Fundy Thunder here. And a big scrum here at the end with Singer all over it. Eisenhower and Singer going after it after the after the buzzer, but they will head off as Valley gets a big win here. St stay tuned for. Game number five of the day two of the Buccaneers and Armada coming up next here on High Button Sports. My name is Mason tonight. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you again soon.